everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm here to guide you through the complete android development roadmap for 2025 if you are a beginner intermediate or advanced developer this roadmap will help you to become a skilled android developer i have updated the old roadmap to a new one which mostly emphasizes kotlin and jetpack compose because that's what the future of android is also, I said this in my previous roadmap video and I'm telling it again. Please do not follow the roadmap blindly. There is no official roadmap or you know, these are the only topics that you need to learn. No, these are the topics from my perspective and my research. So you don't have to follow them strictly. Do your research and see what topics you find popular in the market or will help you to grow. Got it? Now go to AndroidKnowledge.com. Here click on the roadmap. You will see four sections for beginner, intermediate, advanced and finally Android developer. So grab a notebook and let's get started. Alright, let's start with the beginner level. If you are new to Android development, here's what you should focus on. First, learn Kotlin and Jetpack Compose. I'm sorry but I have not included Java anywhere. So that shows how important Kotlin and Jetpack Compose are. See, you already know Kotlin is the official programming language for Android. It's simple, modern and powerful. And Jetpack Compose is the toolkit you will use to build user interfaces. It makes UI design much easier than XML. Next, explore Android Studio IDE. Android Studio is the software you will use to build your apps. Hence, explore the IDE to see what are the settings, features, Gemini, theme and everything. Spend some time getting comfortable with it. Learn how to create a project, use the emulator to test your app and navigate the interface. Now, dive into Android basics. Let me explain the key concepts. Activity. This is the starting point of your app. Each screen in your app is an activity. Views. These are the building blocks of your UI, like buttons, text fields, and images. Intents. These are used to move from one screen to another or interact with other apps. Gradle. This is the tool that manage your app's dependencies. Emulator. This is a virtual Android device where you test your app. Toast. A simple pop-up message that shows short feedback to users. Manifest file, a file that holds key information about your app, like its name and permissions. Debugging, this is how you find and fix errors in your code with the help of Logcat. Now see, these are only topics. Inside them, you will find multiple subtopics, like for example, views, which have buttons, text field, images, text, checkboxes, radio button, switches, etc. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Likewise, intents. We have implicit intent and explicit intent. If I start writing their subtopics, then the roadmap will be too lengthy. Hence, I have written only the main topic, so research your subtopics by yourself. Okay? Now, once you understand Android basics, focus on Kotlin. Learn about variables to store data. Practice loops to repeat tasks. Understand functions and how they organize your code. Explore classes and objects to implement object-oriented programming. Learn about null safety to prevent app crashes. I have an entire Kotlin playlist that covers most of the topics. Link in the description box. See, learning, designing and idea is fine. But this Kotlin basics are very, very important. Because coding is all about logic. Hence, if your foundation is strong, you are good to go. Then finally, get into Jetpack Compose basics. Learn how to create UI components with composables. Understand layouts to organize your screen. Use modifier to style your components. Manage data with the state. Explore navigation between screens with the navigation component. And don't forget to work with list. I also have an entire playlist focusing on Jetpack Compose. Make sure to check it by clicking on the i button. Now this time I have included projects also in the roadmap. 
again it's not compulsory that you have to create this project no create any project that helps you grow and also suits your resume okay see initially you won't understand what you are creating what is happening why you write this code and everything but that's okay you're just a beginner give some time and practice and see the growth by yourself try building a simple hello world app a to-do list app to manage tasks a calculator app for basic math a weather app a bmi calculator a quiz app and a unit converter Again, I have an entire playlist of projects that you can create for free. Link in the description box. Now, once you are comfortable with the basics, it's time to level up. Here's what you should focus on. Understand activity life cycles. Learn how Android manages app screens and how to handle transition between different states like create, pause and destroy. Start using libraries and plugins. These are tools that makes development easier. For example, use Glide or Coil to load images. Learn Git and GitHub. These are essential tools for managing your code, collaborating with others, and tracking changes. Master the MVVM architecture. MVVM stands for Model, View, and View Model. It helps separate your app's UI from its logic, making it easier to maintain. Work with Room Database and Firebase. Use Room to store data locally on the device and Firebase to sync data in the cloud. Learn how to fetch data from APIs. Use Retrofit to make API calls, pass JSON data into Kotlin objects, and use coroutines for handling background tasks efficiently. Then enhance your UI with Jetpack Compose. Use Lazy Column and Lazy Row to display large data sets. Create custom UI components for unique design. Work with nested navigation graphs and deep links for advanced navigation. And explore KMP, Kotlin Multi-Platform Basics. This is great for sharing code between Android, iOS, and web apps. I'll be soon starting with a KMP playlist, so be ready for it. Now for the projects you can build, a notes app, a news app that fetches data from an API, a recipe app, an expense tracker, and a fitness tracker. Now you are ready for the advanced stage. Also, I'll tell you whatever topic you will hear now will scare you because it sounds very difficult, but trust me, it's not as difficult as you think. See, once you clear all the above levels, then everything is easy for you. So don't worry about it. Now, what to focus on? Create custom layouts and animations. Make your app stand out with smooth transition and unique designs. Learn state hoisting and material theming. Manage app-wide states effectively and keep your design consistent with material design principles. Then master advanced concepts such as use DSL which is domain-specific language to write cleaner and more expressive code. Work with SEAL classes for better state management. Learn about flows for asynchronous data streams. Automate tasks with CI and CD pipelines. Organize your code using clean architecture. Optimize performance for better user experience. Also, explore KMP shared UI and shared database, which means building cross-platform apps with shared code bases. Don't forget about testing. Write unit tests to ensure your app logics work as expected. Use UI testing to make sure the interface behaves correctly. Work on advanced projects like an e-commerce app, a Wear OS app for smart watches, a movie streaming app, ML AI apps that use machine learning features, a real-time chat app, and a cross-platform apps for Android and iOS. Finally, let's talk about becoming a professional Android developer. Now you have cleared all the above three levels, Next what? Publish your app. Learn how to submit your app to the Google Play Store. Work for clients. Start freelancing or building apps for businesses. Market your app. Use social media, SEO and advertisements to promote your apps. Monetize your apps. Add ads, in-app purchases or subscriptions to generate revenue. And that's it. 
a complete roadmap to becoming an Android developer in 2025. I hope this guide helps you plan your journey and achieve your goals. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.